I describe my art primarily as eclectic because I don't do one particular style. Uh, the retrospective show uh, recently showed that because there were so many different ways of doing things and I've been an experimenter <clears throat> uh, my, from my early education life at art school on, uh, and especially after beginning teaching. Uh, I've, I've experimented a lot with a lot of different media and, and mixed media things and I will often come back to something I did 10 years ago and do it that way again. So uh, I have a, if you want to call it styles, I have a lot of different styles, uh, so to speak. Uh, I'm pretty much a, uh, an artist who works in a representational style. I don't call it realistic because uh, that's a little misleading, I think. Uh, so. Most of the work that you see of mine will uh, have imagery in it that you recognize. It's not so abstract or, or away from that that you don't know what's going on in it. I've been creating for, I've been an artist for over 45 years. I grew up in Florida, so my first uh, drawing was in sand uh, and next to the coat room when we were taking our nap on blanket and I'd pat it out and start drawing in it. <laughs> it was so, I remember back to that far. But it was actually high school, uh, 11th grade before uh, I actually started drawing, painting on a regular kind of basis. My educational background uh, started back in 19, fall of 67 when I went to Ringling School of Art. Um, and I went into commercial art, what we call graphic design today, and uh, did that for a couple of years and decided that's not really what I wanted to do. I'd rather just be a fine artist <clears throat> at that time. But my parents couldn't afford for me to stay at art school, so I had to come back home and uh, start junior college. I didn't take any art courses at junior college. Met my wife there, got married in the process, and it took me another three and a half years to get that two-year degree. Um, stayed out of school a couple of years and one night we sat down and talked about the fact that I'd been teaching some private lessons, I enjoyed doing that and maybe I should go back to school and finish up my degrees. So in 1974 I went back to Florida Southern College which was local in Lakeland, Florida. Uh, got my BA in art and went on to Clemson University uh, next two and a half years and got my Master of Fine Arts degree and managed to start teaching right out of grad school. My influences in terms of artists uh, have been few and far between, actually. I, uh, I like certain artists. Um, Edgar Degas was always one of my favorites because I considered him to be the master of um, composition, primarily. Uh, and graduate school, I spent a semester in Italy and I used his uh, pastel technique to do some work at that time. Um, uh, William Bouguereau, a late 19th century realist, I, I can sit in front of one of his paintings for ever just looking at it and studying it. Um, but my real teachers weren't the ones I had in school. My real teachers have been my students because if I didn't know something, we found that they asked me, we found that out together. We discovered how to do things together. And so today, I tell them that in painting, I don't tell them to do a certain way, how to create a certain way, but if my 20 students in a painting class, painting one class, want to do 20 different ways, then if I'm here to teach them 20 different ways. So my students have been the greatest teachers. I'll be retiring this May. Um, 
after 24 years at Belmont. Um, I came in 1992 as a chair of the department, stepped down in 03 to go back to full-time teaching. I taught at three different schools. The first 13 years I taught, I taught at three different schools in three different states before coming to Belmont in 92. Uh, the retrospective exhibit um, was from January the 6th through March the 4th um, over in the Lou Art Gallery. Um, that was an honor that the art department bestowed upon me uh, so that I could show people where I came from, and where I ended up basically in terms of my art. Um, so I'm retiring after 37 years of college level teaching. There were some good artists that I studied with in school, but they always seemed a little reluctant to teach you. Um, I say that they were kind of scared of <laughs> that you might become better than them. I don't know. But so uh, I learned a lot on my own and mostly learning a lot on my own, whether it was uh, painting or drawing or uh, sculpting ceramics, which I taught for several years as well, um, or even art history. Uh, when something needed to be known or there was a question I couldn't quite answer, then we would discover that together. Uh, the art I like primarily uh, is more realism, more re realistic or representational looking art, but I also like art that goes a little more abstract sometimes because I've done that myself. I think the essence of art for the viewer is to or for the artist is to do something that makes people stop and look for more than two or three seconds when they're going through a gallery to look at art. Um, if you ever go into a gallery and watch people, they'll often just kind of go by looking at things and not stop. But when they stop and look at something, then somebody has grabbed them. And I think that's the sort of the essence of being an artist is to grab the audience that's looking at it and make them stop and look at what you did and, and wonder about it and ask questions about it and uh, try to discover something about the artist himself. I get students sometimes who are non-art majors, but even art students who want to be art majors who say they can't draw. Uh, there's a, a sign on uh, posted in my in the studio upstairs in the painting studio that says can't is not an art appropriate word so when they use that I kind of what did you say what did you say? <laughs> and so finally they catch on that okay I, I can try to do this I can do this I think if you want to learn I think drawing is important uh, traditional studies in art I think are important drawing being the very basic place to start I think that if you can teach someone who doesn't have those skills to, to have some of those skills and teach them and show them that it isn't as difficult as they think it is. I always try to make things uh, seem like they're easier uh, for the students and make them comfortable with that. Our first day was June the fourth, Sunday, June the 14th, 1970. I got married September the 4th, 1971, so we're working on 45 years. I'm going to learn to play the guitar when I retire. <laughs> I want to learn to play music. I want to do something a little different than uh, paint. Not that I'll give up paint. So I have other, other hopes and desires in my old age. <laughs>